Jeremiah chapter 21 This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, when King Zedekiah sent him to Pashur, the son of Malchiah, and Zephaniah the priest, the son of Maseah, saying, Inquire of the Lord for us, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, is making war against us. Perhaps the Lord will deal with us according to all his wonderful deeds, and will make him withdraw from us. Then Jeremiah said to them, Thus you shall say to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, and with which you are fighting against the king of Babylon, and against the Chaldeans who are besieging you outside the walls. And I will bring them together into the midst of this city. I myself will fight against you, with outstretched hand and a strong arm, in anger and in fury and in great wrath. And I will strike down the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence. Afterward, declares the Lord, I will give Zedekiah king of Judah and his servants and the people in this city who survived the pestilence, sword, and famine, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of their enemies, into the hand of those who seek their lives. He shall strike them down with the edge of the sword. He shall not pity them, or spare them, or have compassion. And to this people you shall say, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He who stays in this city shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. But he who goes out and surrenders to the Chaldeans who are besieging you shall live and shall have his life as a prize of war. For I have set my face against this city, for harm and not for good, declares the Lord. It shall be given into the hand of the king of Babylon and he shall burn it with fire. Moreover, say to the royal house of Judah, Hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says to you, house of David. Administer justice every morning. Rescue from the hand of the oppressor, the one who has been robbed, or my wrath will break out and burn like fire. Because of the evil you have done, burn with no one to quench it. I am against you, Jerusalem, you who live above this valley on the rocky plateau, declares the Lord. You who say, Who can come against us? Who can enter our refuge? I will punish you as your deeds deserve, declares the Lord. I will kindle a fire in your forests that will consume everything around you. Chapter 22 This is what the Lord says, Go down to the palace of the king of Judah, and proclaim this message there. Hear the word of the Lord to you, king of Judah, you who sit on David's throne, you, your officials, and your people who come through these gates. This is what the Lord says. Do what is just and right. Rescue from the hand of the oppressor, the one who has been robbed. Do no wrong or violence to the foreigner the fatherless or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place. For if you are careful to carry out these commands, then kings who sit on David's throne will come through the gates of this palace, riding in chariots and on horses, accompanied by their officials and their people. But if you do not obey these commands, declares the Lord, I swear by myself that this palace will become a ruin. For this is what the Lord says about the palace of the king of Judah. Though you are like Gilead to me, like the summit of Lebanon, I will surely make you like a wasteland, like towns not inhabited. I will send destroyers against you, each man with his weapons, and they will cut up your fine cedar beams and throw them into the fire. People from many nations will pass by this city and will ask one another, Why has the Lord done such a thing to this great city? And the answer will be, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and have worshipped and served other gods. 
Do not weep for the dead or mourn for him, but weep deeply for the one who goes away, for he will never return or see his native land. For this is what the Lord says regarding Shalom, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, who became king in the place of his father Josiah, who went out from this place. He will never return there, but in the place where they took him into exile, there he will die, and he will not see this land again. Woe to him who builds his house without righteousness, and his upstairs room without justice, who uses his neighbor's services without pay, and does not give him his wages, who says, I will build myself a large house with spacious upstairs rooms, and cut out its windows, paneling it with cedar and painting it bright red. Do you become a king because you are competing in cedar? Did your father not eat and drink, and do justice and righteousness? Then it was well for him. He pled the cause of the afflicted and the poor. Then it was well. Is that not what it means to know me, declares the Lord? But your eyes and your heart are intent only upon your own dishonest gain, and on shedding innocent blood, and on practicing oppression and extortion. Therefore, this is what the Lord says regarding Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. They will not mourn for him, O oh, my brother, or O oh, sister, they will not mourn for him, O oh, for the master, or O oh, for his splendor. He will be buried with a donkey's burial, dragged off and thrown out beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry out, and raise your voice in Bashan. Cry out also from Abarim, for all your lovers have been crushed. I spoke to you in your prosperity, but you said, I will not listen. This has been your way from your youth, that you have not obeyed my voice. The wind will sweep away all your shepherds, and your lovers will go into captivity. Then you will certainly be ashamed and humiliated because of all your wickedness. You who live in Lebanon, nested in the cedars, how you will groan when sharp pains come on you, pain like a woman in childbirth. As I live, declares the Lord, even if Kaniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, were a signet ring on my right hand, yet I would pull you off, and I would hand you over to those who are seeking your life, Yes, to those of whom you are frightened, that is, to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and the Chaldeans. I will hurl you and your mother who gave birth to you into another country where you were not born, and there you will die. But as for the land to which they long to return, they will not return to it. Is this man Kaniah a despised, shattered jar? Or is he an undesirable vessel? Why have he and his descendants been hurled out and cast into a land that they had not known? O oh, land, 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 hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Write this man down as childless, a man who will not prosper in his days. For no man among his descendants will prosper, sitting on the throne of David, or ruling again in Judah. Chapter 23 Woe to the shepherds who are causing the sheep of my pasture to perish and are scattering them, declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says concerning the shepherds who are tending my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not been concerned about them. Behold, I am going to call you to account for the evil of your deeds, declares the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, and bring them back to their pasture, and they will be fruitful and multiply. I will also raise up shepherds over them, and they will tend them, and they will not be afraid any longer, nor be terrified, 
nor will any be missing, declares the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he will reign as king and act wisely, and do justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will live securely. And this is his name, by which he will be called, the Lord our righteousness. In that day, says the Lord, when people are taking an oath, they will no longer say, as surely as the Lord lives, who rescued the people of Israel from the land of Egypt. Instead they will say, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the people of Israel back to their own land from the land of the north, and from all the countries to which he had exiled them. Then they will live in their own land. My heart is broken because of the false prophets, and my bones tremble. I stagger like a drunkard, like someone overcome by wine, because of the holy words the Lord has spoken against them. For the land is full of adultery, and it lies under a curse. The land itself is in mourning, its wilderness pastures are dried up, for they all do evil and abuse what power they have. Even the priests and prophets are ungodly, wicked men. I have seen their despicable acts right here in my own temple, says the Lord. Therefore, the paths they take will become slippery. They will be chased through the dark, and there they will fall. For I will bring disaster upon them at the time fixed for their punishment. I, the Lord, have spoken. I saw that the prophets of Samaria were terribly evil, for they prophesied in the name of Baal, and led my people of Israel into sin. But now I see that the prophets of Jerusalem are even worse. They commit adultery and love dishonesty. They encourage those who are doing evil, so that no one turns away from their sins. These prophets are as wicked as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah once were.